guys welcome to my first vlog so I've been wanting to vlog for a long time but um, I have a lot of things to do and I'm not always you know like on top of my camera like oh I, I need to record this or you know um, and also my English is not that good so that's why like I've been thinking about it but I said what the heck let's do it so anyway, I'm walking to get my son um, off of school and I live in Miami and right here is, it's 73, 73 or 72 degrees. I mean, I'm Puerto Rican, 73 degrees for me, it's freezing. Like it's, <laughs> it's stupid, like everybody's in shorts and you know, walking like nothing's happening and I'm here freezing. But yeah, I'm going to go get him. Uh, I walk every day to go get him and then to go back home. Uh, it takes me like, I think 15 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that to go get him and then go back. I mean, it's a good exercise. Um, and I just, I want to start making these vlogs and I want them to be as real as possible because I've seen these people blogging like these perfect lives. They wake up and they record themselves getting out of bed. Come on, like seriously? Well, I don't wanna like put makeup or stuff like that to record. So you're gonna see the real me and what I do. Um, so yeah, I, I've been working with a couple of companies. They send me stuff and I make videos for them. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So this is how my face looks like when I get off my mask. It always gets so red and then here it gets so weird. And then I've been having these pimples. Oh, it's crazy. I'm 33. It's like I'm not supposed to be getting pimples. But um, um, I mean I have endometriosis and I have a hormonal problems. So mm, part of my life. Okay, so I want to show you what I've done so far. Okay, so these I did on purpose. I left them like that because I am planning to use them as decor for, um, I don't know how to say it, a fair. It's an event that I'm having on Sunday. Um, there's um, a yoga instructor that I met in my job and she is very nice we are following each other on instagram and then she is having this thing on sunday and she invited me she was um, she's very nice she's a very nice girl um, she creates her own yoga apparel so if you're interested in seeing it i'm gonna leave a link in the description box She's a really cool girl and she makes an amazing pieces. Um, yeah, so here is my mess. Oh my God. But um, see how, look, how cool it looks. And these that I use to cover my paintings are drawers. They are clear and that way um, 
it allows me to see what's going on in there i mean there's not much going on after you um load the resin with the heat gun but i'm a control freak i always like to be checking on my resin and i always try to lift the thing that it's covering it and it always gets a lot of dust so i discovered that i could use these drawers and then i can see through and what's happening here won't stick to the drawer because this kind of plastic um won't get stick with the rest and i don't know why i mean it should be the kind of plastic that is but it doesn't stick so you can remove it very easily once it's cured and of course i'm using the epoxy resin store resin and some people think that i promote this stuff because they give me things and i'm just promoting them but this is not what they gave to me this is something that i bought because after trying all of the resins this one the this one was the one that i liked the most because it is very thick you can use it um to dome for example jewelry pieces or uh, your your paintings for example this one and i noticed that it works really well when you mix it with alcohol inks and they react with the pigments and that way they create those beautiful cells that you see in here that's a reaction from the alcohol inks the pigments and the components of the resin that doesn't happen with the other resins that i have so i bought the gallon it was i think it was um 46 dollars with cheaping something like that i don't remember now but it was very cheap for the gallon i mean hello yeah so i'm gonna go to sleep guys um i'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow again this is something very weird for me <laughs> it's weird yeah okay guys see you tomorrow i'm gonna show you when my room it's clean hey guys i just woke up <laughs> it's 12 p.m uh, but i got i i was in bed at five like i took a shower and i did everything that i needed to do before going to bed and then i, I ended up um getting, getting i ended up sleeping at 5 a.m so i want to show you guys like this resin cures so fast that it is already cured and I went to sleep at 5 a.m. I mean, I ended up, I put my resin 4 a.m. And I already can touch it. It's a little bit sticky. But um, if you need to put another layer on top, for example, of this one, um, you could do it right now. That's why I love this resin. Oh my God, there's a hair in here. Oh no. Okay. But there it is but ah! okay yeah sticky as you can see and then let's um see paintings so so i was telling you this will stick but oh there's spiky 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 okay don't move then so you can just you can just lift it like this and it won't like that, like that. and here's our piece I'm gonna give it a couple of coats like two more coats but yeah Get those cells, that's what I was talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my room and then I'm gonna go get my son from school and I talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm re getting ready for work. I put some makeup on and this, this, it's not, it's not disappearing. It's like, it's there forever. So I already checked the paintings that are already dry. I get out today at 12 a.m. So I'll be coming home to give them the second coat of rest. So I clean and organize my studio. Uh, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. I got out of my job at 12 a.m. 
I ate something, I talked a little bit with my husband, and now I'm here again because the art thingy that I have, it's on Sunday and I'm trying to have as much pieces as I can and I'm really tired. I wanted to show you guys this. I found this when I was on my way to get my son from school and I thought it would look really cool if I painted it white and then maybe I can put some seashells hanging from here and that way it could be a Christmas tree but going with my ocean theme. theme. And this is a jar that I added a little bit of resin, color resin, and it dried, so now it's blue. <laughs> and then I was trying to organize everything in here to see how and how I'm going to set up my table. And um, I've been collecting these. These are the this is the resin that cures inside this plastic containers. I mix it there and then I take it off. This plastic, um, it's. I don't know, for some reason it doesn't stick to this kind of plastic. These I bought from the dollar store and these are from Home Depot. But then when you take the resin out, they look so cool, like little cups, like this. And this is jewelry. This is, these are some earrings that I made with, oh my God, my nails, I'm sorry, they're so dirty. Um, I made this with Yupo paper and alcohol inks, and then I domed the back with some white resin and these are inside the resin so there is no way these babies can fall, fall off the post. And I think this was a really cool idea, I like to put them like this. And it's just a clear one, see? And that's, uh, I think that's a really great way to recycle maybe, reuse at this one and it looks really cool okay so let me start working I'm so tired but I think these are looking great these this one I think I'm gonna give a clear resin coat and that's it because I really like what's happening here and what's happening up here so I don't think it needs anything else this one, I'm gonna paint a couple of stuff in here because it ended up being a lot of sand. Like, it doesn't look good. So I'm gonna try to paint some stuff in here. And for this one, it's, it's bad words, but um, the resin, as you can see here, you can see the canvas beneath. So I'm gonna make a deeper blue so I can cover that area up. So this one's going to get three coats. This one's the first the blue deepest blue and then another clear coat on top this one i'm gonna start painting this one Podemos empezar a poner. Exacto, eso que no es así. Yo me llegaría eso así en Esto sí. Sí, yo creo que sí. No, 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 setting up. There's my friend Katie. I love oh so cloudy. I hope it doesn't rain.
can. Like I'm having a great time with her and we're having a little bit of wine. We're here at the Holiday Bazaar. There's a lot of beautiful stuff here. I want to show you guys. I'm going to walk around now with her. Okay, right? let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Show, show the, hol show the uh, Holiday Bazaar. So, so come and show you around. Okay, here we go. Here's this oh my gosh is this gorgeous i think i think this one's my favorite isn't that gorgeous really pretty isn't it oh my gosh isn't it this would just make a really great christmas gift it's just a, it's beautiful it says miami beach <laughs> And then we have Katie's apparel right here. And the cool thing about these is that they are reversible. Yeah, so here we go. And if you are a scuba diver or a snorkeler, it really protects you while you're scuba diving. Here, this is Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hello. Cute. I love this. Beautiful. I really love these. These are so cute. Oh, did you get one? What did you get? I got the, but for me, it's an amapola. Puerto Rico, and we, we have the, yeah, also Sancroix is the typical flower for, and then my, my stepdad, he lived in Sancroix for many, many years. I'm in love with that Look one. Look at this, the detailed work. What, this is called quilling, or what is this called? Quilling. This is called quilling. This is an ancient art form, and it, this is so gorgeous, and would make, look at this, it's beautiful, it would make the perfect gift for the holiday. Look at this one. Look at the detail. And here, here's the artist. Hi. <laughs> hey, oh, hi. hello. How you're so you beautiful. Guys. Hi. What do we have here? Tell so, us about. We, yeah, so uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, so our company is for my temple. Everything is good for our temple. And we got vegan uh, items here. These are vegan meringues. We also have things like uh, immunity truffles. They have turmeric, oh. ginger, dates, lemon, everything healthy and organic. Um, besides that, we also have these are vegan composed butters. This is chimichurri style, and this one has it's a peanut butter that has turmeric, ginger, uh, goji berries, uh, MCT oil, chia seeds, flax seeds. It's a super food product. So. Uh, my biggest fan. Oh, you are a sweetie pie. Oh, guys, we're having so much fun here. There's a lot of uh, good people in here. And yeah, that was Katie's mom. I love her. Like, I'm going to be inviting her to hang out because we have so awesome. much fun together. Listen, if you need help shopping, give us a call. We can help you. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Hey, guys, so it's Monday. Uh, I wanted to finish the vlog here thanking you for taking the time to watch my video and I just wanted to say that I had a great experience yesterday. I met a lot of great people and it was a lot of fun. So right now I'm going to get my son from school. I'm off today so I'm gonna just take the time to relax and do some stuff for for me and you know to have fun with my son and give him some quality time and yeah I think I would love to know if you like this kind of videos if you like uh, to see more of me and what I do, um, I'm old, I'm new to blogging, so this is really weird for me. Like it's it's been, like it's it's been weird, but it's been good. It's not weird, bad, weird, good. I mean, weird, good. Is, is that even a thing? Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do hit the bell to receive notifications of new videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video, so I can keep making them. And thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day. Happy holidays. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.